Trey Banks. We're here with the third episode of the conversation piece. Right now we're on 443 I Street at the Durkle Warehouse. We're about to check them out. Stay tuned. What's going on? I'm here in Durkle Warehouse. Right now I'm with Malcolm. Just working just a worker at Durkle. I mean, um, yeah, my title is store manager, warehouse manager. Okay. Um, just kind of make sure everything runs smoothly in the shop and you know, plan events and you know, get money there. Get money right on. So tell me, like, as far as the brand of Durkle, how did it begin? Where did it start out at? And you know, how did it build to become what it is today? Um, well, yeah, we're based out of DC. It started here in 2004 as a t-shirt brand um, by, by the owner Will Sharp, and we just expanded from there, you know, um, grown over the last six, seven years, and expanded to cut and sew, and, you know, now we do full range of clothes, t-shirts, hats, button-ups, jackets, denim. You know, so y'all drop a new line for every season and things like that? Yeah, we usually do maybe like two lines huh? per season, two spring, two fall, oh, yeah. holiday lines. Doing our first summer line, um, some tank tops, some more shorts. That's really exciting. So, peace, please. <laughs> All right. So, has the brand started out in 2004, like you said, starting out 2004, has the brand grown faster than what you guys have expected, or is um, it is it right? Yeah, it kind of happened overnight. You know, uh -huh. like I feel like we were, we were growing steadily, but kind of at a slow pace. Maybe like within like the last year and a half, two years, three years, we've just been kind of blowing up. Um, you know, by every season, it's just gotten bigger. Do you feel like it's just the quality and just different styles, the newer styles you've been putting out? What is it that is separating y'all that caused that overnight success? Um, I just feel like we have like a really nice free aesthetic. Um, there's there's nothing really quote unquote exactly like it in streetwear. Um, we're DC based. We're the only brand. It's based out of the city that's you know really making the type of noise that okay. that we're making and I just I just think support, you know, like the right people have endorsed it and it's just been solving a good look. Alright, so how closely do you work um with things in entertainment or in the industry outside of fashion, you know, like music, um, uh, community events, even the arts, you know, just art in general. How closely does Dirk go, you know, incorporate that into this everyday lifestyle? Um, like a lot. Um, I just try to keep our name relevant. Mm -hmm. um, so every, you know, I, I try to support everybody that I can. You know, if you come to me with a good idea, and, um, and, you know, and I like your idea, like, I, I'll put that behind it, and um, you know, we'll support you. So like very closely, we work with a lot of artists. Mm -hmm. we, we send a lot of artists clothes. Uh -huh. um, you know, like the whole three six eight music group, okay. fill out day, they support us. Um, Anwar, Casey Veggies, okay. they support us. Um, a lot of alternative artists. Right. You know, like, I don't know if a lot of people are familiar with Vega. Uh, um, you know, just, okay. Just shit like that. Cool, cool. Now, everybody in the arts, or even in anything, you know, if it's a basketball player, you might say you looked up to Jordan or Magic okay. Johnson. You know, a, a rap artist might say you looked up to Jay Z or whoever, uh, whoever they may look at, up to. As far as fashion, do you know what fashion group, what Clothing line may have inspired Dirk to say, you know, this is what we want to create. This is who, you know, we looked at and said, you know, this is why we want to get into fashion. Is there certain? Um, dude, I don't, I don't want to like, you know, want to fill ourselves, but I, I feel like we inspire us. You know, that's the whole okay. idea behind Dirk is that, you know, there aren't any really like, there isn't a structure, there aren't any rules. Just mm -hmm. you know, do your thing and go hard at it, and you know, good things will come from it. So. It's basically, y'all just feel like it was like, all right, you know, we this is something we could do, yeah. and just you know we have our own distinct separation from yeah, everybody. Yeah, yeah. So how do you um, plan to, you know, stay relevant? I see a lot of fashions and things become fads and kind of die off quickly, like they get big and then die off quickly. How do you plan to make sure that doesn't happen and we continue to come to be relevant? Yo, um, or just stay real, man. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's it's a lot easier said than done, but but don't sell your soul for the money. Just like keep supporting real stuff, man, and, and then people that are really fans of your brand, they'll know. You know, it's like stay consistent, do what you do, stay in your lane. You know, like we got something that people like. It's like, okay, we're gonna do that. You know, 
Like we're not gonna turn our back on on people that support the brand. There's stuff on like Karma Loop and things like that. Where else can people um, purchase clothing for their? Uh, Dirkle.com, or you can come to the store at 443 I Street. Um, okay. Exactly. Northwest Chinatown, DC, and buy Dirk. All right. Now, um, five years from now, where is Dirk? Um, huge, dude. Like new space, big space. <laughs> Hopefully, you know, multiple spaces. It's, you covering the country yet? Uh, no, no we're, we're coming close, honestly. Mm -hmm. um, almost every major city that you can think of, you know, there's a, there's a shop that carries their Okay. Um, people from Atlanta wish these they wish they, they carry their own. Right. Um, people in Cali, the trap, they carry their You know what I'm saying? Like, Carmel and Pose is down hard. Like, you know, what do you, what do people well, well, look here. Like, I want to take a look at you know some things y'all got. So we about to can we walk into the store? We can take. All right. All right so tell me about some new stuff y'all got going on in here. Let me. I see y'all got y'all spring line. Y'all just dropped. Um yeah, it's our most recent drop. It's our first time doing shorts. Um, a lot of new teams. Yeah. Old flock hats. This is drop. This is drop. These two is drop. This is drop. We could go. Everything in this room is pretty much new though. This year, the last month and a half, two months. Right? As far as you know, like the winter stuff is basically about to be, you know, transitioning. So do y'all have some type of sales coming on for people that might be interested in for the next season, grab this stuff? Yo, we'll see. Um, sales are planning possibly. So. Right, right, right. That's Stay on the different side and keep your eyes open for that. Okay, there's some new stuff in here. I see some projects, everything like that. Hoodies. Alright, so like tell me about I see this shirt right over here. Okay. You know, explain the meaning behind this right here. Alright, yo, well basically after Martin Luther King was killed, okay. you know, there was rioting in all types of black communities across the nation. In particular DC. And this image is a photo from U Street, nineteen sixty eight, after Martin Luther King's definitely, you know, like Alright, you see they got the little yeah, right, right there. So I mean that's definitely smooth, so y'all definitely there you know, reach back and touch the history of D.C. Yeah, as well and yeah. incorporate that into your fashion. Dude, we're just conscious of the community, you know. It's like, it's a D.C.-based brand and kind of we want the, the personality of D.C. to come out in the clothing. So, just want to keep that aesthetic. Talk to me about this right here, real fast, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, yeah, Ortlib collab bag. Um, it's a messenger bag, it's waterproof. Got the 3M stars and bars on the side. Again, D.C. aesthetic. Um, Got a lot of support on that, yo. Like right, a right. lot, that's, a lot of support. That, that's something that you probably won't find anywhere else. Like that's, oh, that's nah, one nah. of a kind, right there. Man. Exactly, exactly. Right. I definitely appreciate y'all letting me come through and do the conversation piece. Shout out to the Urban Feed Mag, yeah. and you know what I'm saying shout out to Durkle. Everybody, come through 443 I Street. Yeah, Anybody out of state, you know Durkle.com. I'm Trey Banks. This is Malcolm. We out of here.